In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build an AI agent that will chat back and forth with you about any of your data and even show you how you can embed it anywhere you would like, like your own website. Now, this tool will utilize information that you provide, like your company's employee handbook or any standard operating procedures, also known as SOPs, and really just enable employees to interact with it to quickly find the answers that they need. So this means new team members can get up to speed without sifting through lengthy documents or constantly reaching out to their managers, HR, or colleagues. And there's so many different use cases that you can apply to this, such as anybody coming onto your website and wanting to ask any questions. Anyways, I've been able to help companies save tens of hours every single week, compounding into hundreds of hours and well over thousands of dollars saved every year through implementing systems like what I'm about to show you. And before we get started, I want to quickly mention that if you're a business owner and you want to leverage our AI systems or have us build out custom solutions for you to scale your business and completely eliminate your repetitive tasks, like I've done with companies before, then book a free call with me and I'll show you how to drive revenue, save time in your business, and ultimately scale for growth so that you can finally step away from the daily operations. And be sure to join my school community because I'll be providing so much other valuable resources that'll help you grow and scale your business, which I'm going to provide on my YouTube. Now, before we get into the build and showing you how to actually build out this entire thing step by step, I wanted to give you a quick overview of what this looks like, what it's doing, what's going on in the back end, just so you have a quick synopsis of how this is going to work. But essentially, this is our end goal right here. And what this is exactly is an agent that we just basically copied a URL from N8N and just pasted it into our browser. But you could also embed this agent or this chatbot, whatever you would like to call it onto any different website, or you could put it in your Slack channels, use it on Telegram. You can deploy it really wherever. And essentially, we're just able to chat with our company data and really answer any questions. So you can imagine that there would be a lot of different use case, whether that's you have to use it for employees or you're offering it to your clients, whatever. So this is kind of what it looks like. I just added some simple questions, like what can Reprise do for my marketing agency? And it's coming back with some answers based off of the company data that I trained it on. Now, how we're actually training this agent on our company data is we're going to be using Pinecone. And Pinecone, if you're not familiar already, is a vector database. Now, what we're doing right here in this very first workflow is actually updating or uploading all of our um, files, our company data to Pinecone. So I believe it actually might be this workflow instead. Yep. So this first one is just uploading data. As you can see, it's searching my Google Drive. And basically this Google Drive, I'll pull it up right here, is where I'm storing all of my company information. So we have technology and innovation, our team members, the services and solutions we provide, some of the operational processes, future plans and roadmaps, company policies. Now, this is going to look a lot different for you. Um, and I basically just created some dummy data for this entire thing. Um, you know, I don't want to share anything too confidential. So I just created some dummy data for this video. But anyways, we want to upload all this information into, you know, our very own database. And how we're doing this is we're basically just using Pinecone within N8N. Now, of course, I'll show you how to build this out for yourself. But, you know, just give you a quick run through. We just use Pinecone vector store using some default data loaders and character text. And of course, OpenAI. Now let's move on to the next one. And what this is, is basically whenever our Google Drive is updated or anything new gets added, it's then going to automatically put that into our vector database. So if we add a new Google Docs or a Google Sheets, it's then going to be stored into my Pinecone vector database because this only happens one time, this workflow that I built right here. This is just to upload all the files that we currently have. So from now on, if anything is added, um, since building this out, it's then going to store it basically. Now, our third workflow that we're going to be building is essentially just the AI agent, which is where we're going to be able to chat with all of our company data. So whenever chat message is received, it's going to you know connect with the AI agent in Pinecone and just pull any data that it may need for any questions and answers. Now, to help you further understand what this is going to look like, I'm just going to ask it another question. So I'll say something like, how can you help my, um, we'll say email marketing agency. We'll say that and we'll see what it comes up with based off of all the company information. 
It says Reprise can significantly enhance your email marketing agency by providing AI driven solutions to boost efficiency and growth. We can help you automate routine tasks, optimize targeting and segmentation strategies and analyze customer data for improved personalization. So just let's let's say this example is for a client or somebody who is looking to become a client and work with us. But let's also go a step further and say we're just an employee and we want to know about some of the company policies. So I could say, what are the company policies? So we'll just be a little bit broad right here, but you know, you can obviously provide a very in-depth specific things, um, you know, instead of employees having to ask your boss questions. So it says reprises company policies focused on several key areas. One, ethical AI usage, two, quality assurance. So just being committed to maintaining the highest standards in our AI automation solutions, ensuring they meet the expectations and needs of our clients. We could also take it a step further and say, who works at Reprise? At Reprise, we have a dynamic team that includes Ava and Noah Taylor. Our team works collaboratively to ensure the success and growth of our company. Great. So how do we actually build this out? Well, I'm about to show you in just one second. First thing we want to do is come into N8N and just create a brand new workflow. I'm going to go to home. If you don't already have an account, I will include a link down below in the description where you can sign up for a completely free account. But anyways, once you log in, first thing you want to do is just add a new workflow. Now this first workflow, we're going to be focusing on actually inputting the company data into our pine cone. Now to do that, we'll just click on delete. And let's say we're storing all of our company information in Google Drive, like we've done so here. So I just have a folder called RAG. And essentially, as I showed you earlier, this is just all my company information included in Google Docs. Now let's work on actually storing this into a Pinecone vector database. Um, give you a quick run through or overview, I should say. If I go back to indexes, um, I created a brand new one called company data. And this is just basically where we're going to be storing it, but I'll create another, another one in a second. And we have our namespaces reprise. And as you can see, a number of vectors is 500. And that's just containing all of these different documents. Now, how do we actually get them in there? Well, first thing you want to do, go to add step. And what we're going to be using is Google um, Drive. So first we'll want to search our files and folders to find all the documents. So make sure you connect your account. All you have to do is just go to these credentials right here. Make sure you're inputting your client ID and your client secret. And then we're just basically going to go all the way to the bottom. We're going to go to filter and we're going to go to folder and then search for whatever we have it called. So I have it called uh, rag on here. So I'll just search that and we should find it right there. Okay. Now we'll just test this out and we'll see what we come back with. Hopefully it should be 10 items. And yep, as you can see, 10 items right there. Um, so one of the things is future plans and roadmap, market position and competitors, operational process, whatever. Now we'll move on and what we have to do is actually download these items because we want to be able to view them and give it to our vector database for it to later pull information from okay so similarly we'll go to google drive and we'll go to download go to download file make sure you have your account connected once again and then basically you'll just drag this and drop it into there now we'll test it and we should be able to view any data or any of these documents in just one second. Okay, perfect. So this information just came back. And as you can see, if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, there should be 10 and you know, we can even download them and view them even further, but we're just going to leave it alone. Keep it selected as binary right here and move on to the next stage, which is actually going to be implementing Pinecone. So what we'll do, we'll just search Pinecone vector store. We'll select that one and we'll be basically inserting documents instead of retrieving anything, at least right now. Now from the list, as you can see, I already have two in here, but we're going to just create a brand new index. Okay. So what we'll do, we'll go to databases, we'll go to create index and we'll just call this YouTube rag agent. I guess there can't be any capitalizations, YouTube rag agent and the model we will just do text embedding three small. This is just the one I always use. Um, and what I would recommend you use as well but we'll set the configuration and create the index. There's no other changes you'll have to make. And index is initializing. It'll be ready momentarily, but giving you a quick run through, you'll find your namespaces right here, the browser where you can search your index record just a little bit further. Um, but there's not going to be anything in here, obviously, because we haven't added anything yet. But let's go ahead and just build this out really quick. So if I refresh this, let me go ahead and just refresh this list. 
and we should see, okay, YouTube agents. And for the options, we'll do pinecone namespace. And this will just allow us to, you know, later find our namespace or our index a little bit easier. So I'm just going to call this contact data. And that looks good. Now we'll just attach some embeddings and further documentations to it. We'll do embeddings, open AI, and we'll do text embedding, you know, the same embedding that we just used previously, which was the embedding three small. We'll close this out and now we'll just add documents, which is the default data loader. We'll make sure to choose this as binary instead of JSON. Very important step. We'll choose that. Now we'll just back out and go to the text splitter and we'll do recursive character text splitter. Feel free to play around with this a little bit, but I find that recursive character text splitter is, um, you know, basically giving me the best responses and um, splitting all the tokens appropriately. For the chunk size, because these are relatively smaller documents, we'll just do something like 200 and the chunk overlap, maybe 20. Um, but, you know, if you have vast documents, huge documentations with, I don't know, maybe 50 plus pages, would highly recommend upping your chunk size and the chunk overlap. Um, but once again, that's something that you'll have to play around with yourself. Now, we just wanna make sure to actually connect Google Drive to Pinecone, and now we'll just test our workflow, and we should see all of our documents within our Pinecone vector database, but I'll come back to you within a second once that output's generated. Okay, so it just finished uploading, and as you can see, there's 3,000 items, so these documents weren't the smallest. Um, but anyways, it was able to input all the documents that we requested into our vector database. So if I come into Pinecone, we should see, okay, um, we should see 10 matches right here. Okay, perfect. So there's 10 different documents, and in the namespaces, we should see, you know, relatively 3,000 number of vectors, and there's 3280 in here, which is perfect. We're not going to worry too much further about that. But now we want to actually chat with our data. Now that we have all of our documents inside of our pine cone, and now we could actually retrieve this information from it. So to do that, we'll be building out an AI agent. Obviously, you'll want to just create a, another workflow. To do so, just go back to the home, go to add workflow at the top right, should know how to do this. But we'll choose this, close out this or delete it rather. And we'll do on a chat message received. And then we'll just connect this to an AI agent. Choose that one. And we're going to be using a tools agent. Um, basically, this just allows us to call different tools and everything. You know, we're not going to have to get too complex with this. So we'll just leave it as default with this. And we'll also add a system message. So I'm just going to copy what I said earlier to make things as simple and as fast as possible. And what I said is you are the owner of your prize and you are to respond to any customer or any user questions. Um, just trying to be as helpful as possible so something super simple but prompt it as you need okay now we'll just want to attach some some more features so we'll be using the open ai chat model we'll choose the model as chat gpt 4.0 like we always do the most up-to-date model in here right now hopefully oh one will be released soon um but we'll go back and I'll just add some memory. This will allow the agent to be able to call from previous conversations and everything. Um, super simple to attach, just click one button and you have it embedded. And now we just want to attach the tools, which um, basically is just going to be the vector database so that we can pull the information from, okay? So we'll do a vector store tool. We'll call this um, a prize underscore Oops, prize underscore company data. And we'll say, um, I'll just also say what I used previously. Not that it really matters how you prompt this or anything, but we'll go back here and we'll put in, and we'll put in returns information really, and we'll put in returns information related to the company reprise. Now we'll just put in a vector store and we'll do pine cone. Okay. Now we'll just want to find our pine cone index. I think I had it as YouTube rag agent, okay? And again, we'll just want to input our namespace. Um, I'm actually going to have to find what it was earlier that I made it as, let's see, I named it as, I named it as contact data. I'm just gonna drag that over and put it there. And we'll basically just have to add a couple more things. One being the embeddings doing text embedding three small 
And the last one is just going to be the OpenAI model. And we'll just use ChatGPT 4.0 once again. Okay. Now I just want to basically test this out. So we'll go to chat and we're just going to say, Hey, what can Reprise do for agencies? What services do they provide? And it'll come back in a second with an output. Really shouldn't take too long. Um, you know, if we're using the most up-to-date ChatGPT models. And it says Reprise offers end-to-end -end services tailored for agencies, which encompasses initial consultation, deployment, and ongoing support. Okay, now let's ask something further. We'll say, what are the company policies? Okay, just came back with, and it just came back with Reprise's company policies, emphasize their dedication to maintaining the highest standards of excellence, integrity, and professionalism. These principles guide their operations to ensure quality delivery. If you need more detailed information or have specific policy related questions, feel free to ask. Now, if we go into our Google Drive and we find company policies somewhere around here, um, company policies, we open this up, we should see somewhere in there um, what it was just describing. So what was it saying exactly? Um, emphasize your dedication to maintain the highest standards. So we'll just search maintaining. Okay, so our policies reflect our dedication to maintaining the highest standards, blah, blah, blah. Basically saying the exact same thing that um, it did in the answer. Okay, now we just wanna work on actually implementing this onto a website or a URL, um, you know, just deploying it so somebody can use it at any point. All you have to do is just share the link with them. And to do that, what we want to do is make the chat publicly available. And we'll see here, um, you know, we could change the initial messages. Um, so instead of saying, hi there, we could say, my name is Nick. How can I assist you today? And um, okay, you know, you could even allow file uploads and anything. Um, okay, and at the top, we'll see our um, chat URL. And basically what we want to do is just turn this to active. I'll say, got it. And if we paste this into our browser, we should see a brand new chat where we can actually interact with this. So it says, hi there, my name is Nick. How can I assist you today? And we'll say, hi, I run a small business selling products. How can you help me streamline my lead generation? Comes back with a prize can assist your small business and streamline lead generation by offering scalable solutions specifically designed for small and medium sized business. Here's how we can help. One being automation, two lead quality improvement, three capture and nurture leads, and four tailored solutions. As you can see, it's responding to any of the leads questions, and you could also use this for internal use. So you know you could put this onto your Slack channel, or we could take this a step further. And I'll show you if we go back. I'm just going to close these out, and if we go back here, and if we go to one chat message received. And if we use authentication, you could even put on a username and password. So somebody has to submit that if they want to use the agent. But you could also put this onto a website if you change the mode from hosted chat to embedded chat. And this is just where you're going to be putting it on, you know, your Slack channels or wherever else, like a website. And to do this, you just click on here and you'll just follow these instructions to basically just copy and paste this to put it wherever you would like. But what it's going to look like, you'll just copy something like this. Go to the back end of your website and input the embedding wherever. And, and that's essentially it, but we could even take it a step further. And if we wanted to, you know, if we're going to have to update our database frequently, so we're making changes into the documents, or if we're just adding documents and we want this to automatically add to our vector database so we don't have to do this manually every single time, is we could build out this workflow. Where is it? Right here. And, and basically, we're setting up a Google Drive trigger to just watch for any changes. And what this looks like, I'll show you right now, is we'll add a node, Google Drive. And at the bottom, there's going to be two triggers and we'll just choose on changes to a specific file instead of um, involving a specific folder. And then we'll just want to download the um, file as we did earlier. And then we can put it into the same pine cone like earlier. But anyways, that's it. Hope you found some real value in this video. I think this is super useful and it's super easy to build out instead of doing a giant build on voice flow, chat link, whatever. But if you're looking for us to build out any of these solutions or AI agents like we've done for clients before to help them save time and generate revenue within their company, then book a free discovery call. Link is down below. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.